Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor and today we are going to be talking about all of the different death types that are present in The Sims 4. We're going to go through every single death type from the base game all the way to the newest stuff pack, Tiny Living. But before we get started, can you guys just do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button down below? It really helps out the channel. So let's start off with all of the death types that happen in The Sims 4 base game. The first death type we're going to be talking about is the only natural death type in the game, which is death by old age. This death type happens to elders who have lived through their entire lifespan, and this is when they pass away. When these sims die, they'll fall to the floor slowly and peacefully until the Grim Reaper comes to visit. One thing to note with this death is that the sims fall to the ground a lot slower than with a lot of the other deaths, and it kind of gives you a sense that these sims are ready to go, and they have lived through their entire life, and they feel satisfied. So the next death type in the game is death by fire. There are a number of ways to start a fire in the game, from cooking, to doing laundry, to setting off fireworks. You can start a fire rather easily in the game if you really want to. When your sim starts a fire, they have an opportunity to extinguish the fire and run away, but if they're unable to, they have a pretty high chance of being swallowed by the flames. A sim who's dying by fire is going to fall to their knees and try to pat themselves to get rid of the fire, but eventually will fall to the floor and the Grim Reaper will come greet them. The next way that sims can die is death by overexertion. This is a death that is only available to elder sims and happens when they do too much physical activity. This can include exercising or trying to woohoo too many times. If you want to avoid death by overexertion, you should pay attention to your elder's moodlets as they get an uncomfortable moodlet letting you know that they will die if they do one more physical activity. When these sims are dying, they'll grab onto their wrist as if they're checking their pulse and fall to the floor where they will wait for the Grim Reaper. The next death type in the game is death by drowning. This death type has been a staple in the Sims franchise and has been in many versions of the game. However, it's now harder to drown Sims than it ever has been. Previously, you were able to just remove a pool ladder while a Sim was swimming, and they were unable to get out of that pool. However, in The Sims 4, the Sims are a little bit smarter, I guess, and they can just hop out of the side of the pool like a normal person would. To drown a Sim in The Sims 4, you're going to need to build a fence around the pool so they're unable to get out. When these sims are dying, they're going to flail around in the water for a few seconds, trying to stay afloat until they eventually end up sinking to the bottom of the pool where they will wait for the Grim Reaper. The next death type is death by cow plant. The cow plant is a pretty weird plant that you can have on your sims lot in the game, but it needs to be fed at least every 12 hours. If you fail to feed your cow plant, a cake will appear at the end of their tongue, and they use this to try and lure sims in. If your sim eats the cake, they'll be swallowed and spit back out. <laughs> However, if they eat the cake a second time, they will be swallowed and they will die. Getting swallowed by a cow plant is probably a brutal way to die, but it's a super fun one if you need to get someone out of your household. The next death type is death by starvation. This is when you fail to feed your sims. <laughs> Starving your sims takes a few days and can be really frustrating. But your sims will get moodlets throughout the process, letting you know how far along they are and how long until they die. But just one thing to note is that you can't actually leave your lot with another sim during this time because some of your sims' needs will be met and their hunger bar may actually go up. So you have to stay on your lot the entire time you're trying to starve a sim to death. <laughs> when these sims are dying, they will fall to their knees and point to their mouth, showing you that they're super hungry <laughs> until they eventually fall and wait for the Grim Reaper. The next death type in the game is death by electrocution. This happens to sims who are trying to repair items and they'll get electrocuted, and this is super likely if your sim has a low handiness skill. However, your sims won't die on the first try. The first time they get electrocuted, your sims will get dazed. Now, if you try to go and fix another item in your household while your sims are feeling dazed, they will die. When these sims are dying, they will have an electric shock going through them and they will raise off the ground until they fall down and wait for the Grim Reaper. The next type of deaths in the game are emotional deaths. So there's three kinds of emotional deaths in the game. The first is dying from a cardiac explosion, which happens when a sim feels enraged, which they get by having a few strong anger moodlets. Sims can also die from hysteria, which is strong playful moodlets, or die from embarrassment, which is strong embarrassed moodlets. These deaths really aren't the easiest to get in the game and require a bit of work if you want to do them on purpose, but sometimes they can come out of nowhere and surprise you. Now let's talk about some of the death types in expansion packs. So the first is in The Sims 4 City Living. 
In this pack, we were given the option of death by pufferfish. This happens when a sim eats a poor quality serving of pufferfish nigiri. To make this happen, you need a sim who has tried pufferfish at a Japanese food stall in San Mishuno, and you must get them to go home and make this themselves. You should do this with a sim who has a poor quality cooking skill, so at least like a one or a two, so that they have a higher chance of making a poor quality serving of this meal. Then you can either feed it to that sim or another sim of your choosing and they will die. Uh, when they die, they'll grab onto their neck and fall onto their plate and await the Grim Reaper. The other expansion pack that has a death type is The Sims 4 Seasons. There are a few ways to die in Seasons. So the first is going to be death by freezing. This happens when your sim is outside in the cold weather for too long and is not wearing their cold weather clothing. When these sims die, they will shiver, turn into a block of ice, and eventually fall down and the Grim Reaper will come and take them. We then have death by burning. So this is the opposite. And this is when your sim spends too much time in the sun and are not wearing the proper hot weather clothing. These sims will have steam coming off of them and will try to fan themselves off before eventually falling to the ground and the Grim Reaper will come for them as well. Now there is a chance in seasons to die from a lightning strike, but the conditions for this have to be so perfect so I wasn't really able to get any gameplay footage of that. So now we'll talk about some of the deaths from game packs. The first one is from The Sims 4 Spa Day. With this pack we were given saunas that you can add to your sims households. And if a sim chooses to relax in a sauna too many times, they will overheat and pass away. When these sims are dying, they're going to fan themselves off and eventually fall to the ground waiting for the Grim Reaper. This is not a fun way to go. Trust me on that one. So next we have The Sims 4 Vampires. This is death by overexposure to the sun. So vampire sims aren't supposed to be outside in the sun for long periods because it will decrease their vampire energy really quickly. If your vampire energy reaches zero, the sim is going to die. When they're dying, the sim's going to be burned up from the sun, much like when they're set on fire in the game, and they'll try and pat themselves out before eventually falling down where the Grim Reaper will come find them. The next death is death by poison from the Sims 4 Jungle Adventure. This death type has to have a lot of things happen where you have to get hit by a poison dart while in Selva Dorada. When this happens, your sim is going to get green circles all over their body, and they do have the opportunity to stop this death by researching the antidote on a computer or by talking to locals in Selva Dorada. However, if your sim doesn't do this, they will die from the poison, but this takes a few days. So when this sim is dying, they're going to grab their stomach, looking like they're going to vomit. Their body will kind of seize up and they will fall to the floor where the Grim Reaper will show up. The next death is death by spellcaster overload from The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. This happens when a spellcaster sim does too many magical interactions in a row, causing their overload circle to fill. So they'll have a first round where they'll be warned with a moodlet that they are dangerously close to death if they do this again. But if they decide to ignore it and they fill this overload circle twice, they will die. So when this happens, they're going to get a shock where there'll be like colorful blue and purple shocks coming off of their body that will lift them off of the ground until they fall and die and the Grim Reaper comes to visit. So now let's talk about a few of the deaths from stuff packs. The first stuff pack death came from everyone's least favorite pack, My First Pet Stuff. I decided to even use one of the Sim Gurus, Sim Guru Ninja, to show off this death type because why not? He put himself in the game. Uh, you can actually find his sim on the gallery. So anyway, <laughs> this death type is death by rabid rodent fever, and that is caused by the rodent objects in the game. The best way to get this disease is to have a negative relationship with a hamster and wait until their cage is dirty. Then you can go in and play with them as long as they have a dirty cage, and there is a chance of you getting bitten. Um, you'll get a tense moodlet that lasts two hours, and if you get an uncomfortable moodlet saying that you have this disease, then you know that you have it. This will take a few days for your sims to die, but when they do, they are going to have green foam coming out of their mouth and they'll kind of act like a rodent for a few seconds before they fall to the ground and die. The next death type is from The Sims 4 Romantic Garden stuff. This pack gave us the Wishing Well. Now the Wishing Well is a complicated object, so we won't go into all of this in this video, but if you ask the Wishing Well for something when it isn't happy, there's a chance that your sim will be turned into a ghost, which is not cool Wishing Well. Not cool. And finally, we have The Sims 4 Tiny Living. This pack gave us the Murphy bed that has a chance of squishing your sim to death if it malfunctions. When this happens, the sims will be hit by the bed as they're trying to pull it down. They'll bounce a few times and eventually fall down and die. This doesn't happen every single time that the bed malfunctions, but it does happen kind of frequently. And then they'll be taken away by the Grim Reaper. 
So that was kind of a lot of death and a lot of death talk. So I really hope you guys are doing okay after all of that and you enjoyed this video with a bunch of different death types from The Sims 4. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know that you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys next time.